When you know you need to learn a language to use at work, how do you build knowledge specific to your context? Observing language use in your work setting is a key tool. First, identify the specific work situations in which you'll need to use the language. Get as specific as you can with these situations. For example, maybe you work in a business setting and will need to write emails to clients that report on the status of a project. Then, think about the function of the language in that space. What are you using the language to do? In the case of the client email about the status of a project, you likely need to narrate the trajectory of the project so far and describe what has happened. Since that's the case, you should probably pay attention to how to use past tense in your narration and adjectives and adverbs in your description. Then, find real-world situations that are similar to the ones you've identified for your setting and use your powers of observation to discover not only the grammar and vocabulary used, but how people typically interact in that setting. For example, you may notice that client emails can include a lot of elaboration and details in some circumstances, like apologies maybe, depending on the cultural context of course, while in other circumstances, like confirming information or confirming a scheduled meeting, the emails are fairly straightforward and to the point. Keep a list or journal of what you observe and then notice any patterns that emerge. Once you understand typical communication patterns for your setting, you can decide how you want to handle similar situations. So put your observations to work for you. Enjoyed this video? Don't forget to like and subscribe.